What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another One Punch Man World video. All right guys, we're gonna be doing and updating the tier list for this month. Now before Atomic Samurai drops, I wanna make sure we've got everything aligned and in better order. Now that I've had a chance to hit level 70 and I was basing a lot of my stuff here from beta, now I have more experience with the global version and things are gonna look a little bit different than what they look like now. And this is very important to note, this is all to do with testing from other people, including myself. Uh, I've got most of the characters. I think the only one I'm missing here is really Fang uh, and Saitama, but I've got, I've got my, my buddy's got everybody except Saitama, but I've got a lot of friends who use Saitama, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna adjust the tier list accordingly. So you'll start off with the bottom list. I'm gonna move my guy, I'm gonna move my camera over here, guys, so everybody gets to see it. So this is going to be the new version of the tier list, which will be the more up-to-date version. Okay, so Moomin Rider and, um, so, okay, let's start off with Moomin Rider. There is currently a bug that you can recycle his uh, his actual, like, third skill. Without the bug, I'm going to do it without the bug, because I'm assuming eventually they're going to see the bug, they're going to fix the bug. So I'm not going to put the bug into effect here. In terms of his ranking, he is going to be D-class. Uh, Saitama, with looking for a job, is going to be D-class. Snake, on the other hand, is nowhere near D-class. After testing him around, he's more of a B and A-class. So I'm going to put him in A for now. Uh, really good damage, good dodging. Uh, great character. So when I played him in beta, he was not that good at all because beta had different skills, everything else like that, right? So we're going to adjust that one accordingly, okay? Going over to C now, I'd say Smile Man stays the same. Mustachio actually is going to move over to B. The reason why he moves up, uh, his slash attacks are really good. His charge attacks are very strong. Every move is a charge. And if you get three, uh, three star of the, um, or three tiers of the gentleman praise, he actually charges even faster, making him do a lot more moves a lot quicker. His biggest issue is his charge obviously is a downfall because you kind of sometimes have to stand still when you're charging. Sometimes you can dodge around a little bit with some of them, but for the most part, you're a little vulnerable if you are fighting a strong target and they're going in for like a rampage attack. Let's think of uh, Kabuto, right? Or Carnage Kabuto. So he is really good at DPS, but he does drop a little bit there. Uh, Iron, on the other hand, is going to move up also to a probably... Uh, now, when I played him in beta, again, very different unit. Same structure in terms of like his, uh, his setup and his skills. Uh, just the way he charged moves and did this or his blocks were not as good. So they've actually fine-tuned him quite well. So he's definitely A up there. Uh, in C level, we're going to put Lightning Max down to C. I think he deserves one down. Uh, Golden Ball, I'm going to keep in B. And Stinger, we're going to keep in B. This, these guys are good still. Composure Break damage for Stinger is really high. So if you want to use him in Maelstorm for Composure Break, he's really good. Golden Ball is actually a pretty decent... Um, range target dps and i mean the two of them are partners so that kind of really works out in their in their favor so we've got a couple changes there right away lightning max definitely does move down after they made adjustments in global to a lot of these characters he definitely falls flat in regards to some of the other ones now he's not a bad character give or take like granted but he is he is uh definitely lower class now than he what what than what he was in beta okay so Definitely goes down a slot. Now, A-class. All right, so we've talked about these two. Genos can actually move up to top of the A. Same with Lily. They're both, I would say, equal in terms of their abilities. As a matter of fact, this entire class here is pretty damn good. So any of these SR units will actually take you fairly far in the game, especially if you use them in Maelstorm. Maelstorm is one of those contents where you need multiple characters, and your SRs are going to carry a lot of your content. So these three, or these four, I should say, sorry, are going to be some of the better characters in regards to the top of the class for the SRs, okay? These are the top of the, this is the best of the best of the SRs in my opinion, okay? So, uh, Fubuki though, definitely moves up to S. Now, when I played her originally, um, I didn't have that much experience, so I didn't understand the concepts, if you mess up her combo. Now, if, this is still the case. If you mess up her combo, it makes it a lot harder to play. She's one of the toughest characters to play, but once you get used to her and you master her, if you master her, you can actually probably put her to SS, to be honest, because she can go unlimited combos, nonstop damage, and can do really, really well. For the average player, for the average player, she's going to be an S class. Now, I'm not going to rank these guys in any order here. This is just the order that they're in. Um, she's incredible. Okay, she's incredible if you know how to use her especially. So definitely moves up to S, can be SS for you if you are a good player. As a matter of fact, any of these SSRs can be SS class based on your character. But I'm going to focus on their utilities and what they bring. So the fact that she has unlimited combos, but they're hard to master, we'll give her an S for the average player, SS for the top tier Fubuki player, okay? So we're going to put that there for her. She has not much range. It's all close quarter combat outside of one or two moves of hers, which she also has a massive AoE as well too. So that's kind of nice. Now, Genos is another really, really good hybrid character. Good range, incredible DPS, 
amazing composure damage. Uh, he could also be an SS class character, but we have to have a couple S characters in the slot, so I'm going to keep him in S here. Um, honestly, very arguably the best free SSR you can get, even over Metal Knight, Fang, and Puri Puri. Uh, by the way, I don't have Puri Puri on the list here, so I'll add him shortly. Um, we'll put him into the list. I know I didn't add him last time, but I'll add him this time for sure. Uh, and then we have um, Metal Knight here as well too. So the only problem with Metal Knight, incredible nuke, hard to master. A lot of things going on at once, especially in Annihilation mode. When he runs it, you can do multiple first skills, second skills, hold down, hold down the bar. The target has to hit perfectly. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not considering auto mode. I'm thinking all manual here, okay? This is all manual mode. Auto mode, this list would look completely different, I promise you. So Metal Knight will still stay in S. Fang will also still stay in S. Fang's biggest issue is the fact that he does a lot of negative damage. He's a hybrid tank DPS. A really fun unit to use, a really hard unit to use, though, because it requires a lot of countering and parrying, uh, mostly mostly parrying, uh, and especially when he builds up his uh, his flow, and then he can do his three three times skill. His biggest issue really is his negative crit. If you don't build him properly, you'll do a little bit damage versus a lot of damage if he has his p2 or maybe even p3 actually for him so this is still going to be the same class the only difference is we're going to add uh fabuki in here now this class here is going to maintain the same but i'm going to put it in order here okay so we're going to switch it up a little bit now so tatsumaki gets first place now okay after playing with her on my account after playing with her on my buddy's account who's a whale uh she is the most dominating force in this game uh, for sure the best DPS in this game and the easiest to use DPS in this game in my opinion. So very free to play, not free to play, very beginner friendly, very uh, intermediate friendly and super friendly for advanced players. Uh, the easiest combat using to use, the best range in the game and easily the best DPS in the game. Has a couple of bugs in certain stages that are that are annoying. Like for example, when you fight the garbage stage out in the park, her actual second skill will get absorbed into the ground. You can't see it. It does no damage. So I hope they fix that because that's her one of her biggest moves. But when she goes into liberation mode and she can stay in liberation mode, especially with her P1, she's unbeatable for damage, for sure. Uh, so that for sure there. Zombie Man, the reason why I dropped him one level down before her, below her, I mean, is... I know I said I wasn't going to count auto, but fudge me, man. He's the worst in auto. <laughs> Anyways, we won't count auto, but he is definitely second place still, in my opinion. Uh, the best melee, for sure... In my, again, in my opinion, uh, his Rockbuster does insane damage, the best composer damage in the game. Um, his False Blood uh, HP uh, maneuver is incredible. Uh, he has range, so he's a hybrid unit. His range damage does a lot as well, too. Plus, he has a couple of invulnerability uh, frames with some of his skills. So, Zombie Man, for sure, is still considered top tier. Sonic, for me personally, is still considered top tier. The best dodging unit in the game, plus non-stop counters, non-stop hits. Uh and incredibly fast, like super, super fast and intuitive. Uh, so definitely the best dodge character in this game, and in my opinion, the best technical character in the game currently until probably Atomic Samurai drops. And then lastly, Saitama, uh, incredible damage, still really can, can be tanky if you build him that way. Uh, can be a little bit of glass cannon as well if you build him the wrong way. Uh, does have negative damage, uh, ne negative crit damage, but does insane amounts uh, and is a very, very intuitive unit as well too. Very difficult to use, by the way. A lot of charging, a lot of basic attacks, a lot of skill attacks, a lot of dodging, and a lot of, a lot of countering. So this is your tier list, guys. A couple changes here and there, especially in the SRs. One change for the SSRs, but most of it pretty much stays the same, except for Tatsumaki taking over the top spot right now for the best unit in the game. When Atomic Samurai does drop, I'll definitely add him. Now, give me one second. I'm going to add Piri Piri to the list, and we'll finish this up. All right, guys. Last but not least, Piri Piri. So he's going to definitely be in the S class. He's the best tank in the game, and if you know how to use him properly, he can do a massive amount of damage. Now, his biggest faults, of course, two things. Number one, he is a pure block character which means you have to time your blocks to get it right and if you time your blocks properly you'll mitigate damage quite a bit and at the same time you can counter with a lot of damage back yourself but that's the problem the average player cannot do that so having that as well too is kind of a problem now the dodge or not the dodge sorry the dash itself the angel dash or angel rushes it or I think it's called Angel Dash, actually, in this case, is really hard to control because of the targeting system. So sometimes you're running all over the place rather towards the enemy. So that in itself is a little bit flawed. They should always have him target an enemy and run towards it. But that, of course, is a problem problem for the game, not the character. And then lastly, uh, Angel Rush is a really good skill. Uh, but overall, he is the best tank in the game. The only real true tank, in my opinion, in the game. Um, very, very good 
at surviving. If you put him as your main unit, you probably won't die before everybody else. You'll probably stay alive longer than anybody, uh, but that's what he's built to do. So there you guys have it. Uh, Piri Piri, very difficult to play, but a lot of fun, but still not top tier. And there you go, guys. That is your February, end of February, 2024 tier list for One Punch Man. Again, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section. But this should be, I think, in my opinion, the most accurate tier list out there right now. All right, guys, it's a pain. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.